Hi, I'm Tom Magdaleno. I'm the GIS specialist for the city of Camarillo. GIS mapping is geographic information systems. Basically what I do is I make data easy to understand by making maps. I'm gonna show you three maps today. I'll show you the current development map. I'll show you what our water department does, and I'll show you what our streets department does with their sign map. The current development activities map is uh, really useful for seeing what's going on in the city. You know, we, we often get questions about what's this new development or what's happening in this lot. So this is a really useful tool to just come on here and see what, what we have. You can see the agenda report, you can see the elevation, which shows what the building will look like from the side. You can see what kind of development it's gonna be, and you can see the site plans. You can find the current development map under administrative services and GIS maps and there's also a link to it from community development. When you go into the map, you'll see a bunch of different colored points. The yellow ones are residential developments, the red ones are commercial developments, the blue ones are industrial, and the brown ones are institutional. And an example of institutional might be like the city's new desalter. But you can click on any of those and see what kind of development they are and, and see the different uh, plans that they have and what's been submitted to the city council. By making all this information accessible from a single point, it's really easy to answer your questions and to find out what's going on in the city. The water department uh, maintains our water hyd fire hydrants and water valves. And uh, we have thousands of hydrants and valves that we maintain. And uh, to keep track of them, they'll go out into the field with their laptop and they'll click on a, an individual fire hydrant and they can enter into what kind of maintenance they did. And then it'll keep a record of all that maintenance done on each one. And then when they come back and synchronize it, it'll show up on all the other laptops so everybody knows what was done on that particular fire hydrant. And they're all located by GPS, so it makes it real simple to find where you are. Helps them keep track of what's been done. They also keep track of the maintenance on the valves. They need to turn the valves every once in a while to keep them from getting locked up with calcium, just like your hose bib. Except these are valves are 8, 10, 12 inches in diameter, so if they get locked up, it's really hard to turn them. So they got to go out and turn them every once in a while and that they can keep track of what they're doing as part of the regular maintenance. So if I look at a query from last year, it's showing a bunch of yellow dots showing the perimeter of the city where they've uh, turned all these valves. And then if I click on this year, there's green dots showing what's been done this year, and you can see they're starting to fill in in the middle of the city. So it's real easy to see what's been done and what needs to be done. So by keeping really good maintenance, it saves the taxpayers a lot of money because the better the maintenance, the longer the assets last. Things like water valves, they last 40 or 50 years and you can keep them longer the more you do maintenance on them. The city maintains all the street signs that you see out in the, on the road. There's uh, over 7,700 poles and uh, over 13,000 signs that we maintain. And we have all kinds of information and we know things like signs that face south fade faster from the sun. And uh, you know we keep track of maintenance on them, how often they get vandalized or hit by cars or just the different reflectivity. GIS is really important for a city because it gives you all the information you need right at your fingertips. It's great for the public, it's great for the employees, it's great for the workers. They can all have maps dedicated just to what they're trying to do and have the information that they need right at their fingertips. If you want to learn more about GIS mapping, visit the city website. You'll find it under Administrative Services and GIS.